Hey guys, and welcome to a channel called Lynn's Letters, where I barely write letters, but my name is Lynn, so at least half of that is right. So what have you been meaning to do this year? It's already February of 2021, so I'm wondering if anyone is still sticking to their resolutions. My goal for this year was to make more large-scale art, and this has always been a struggle since art supplies are so expensive, and I was never confident enough to not mess up and waste all that paint. I kind of forced myself to step out of my comfort zone though by buying larger watercolor paper and I guess I have no choice but to use it. And sharing my art with you guys has really boosted my confidence a bit more. I initially made this sketch on my iPad and I'm very grateful for technology when erasing something only takes, what, two taps. And it's also nice to switch out different colors to see which ones complement each other better. I then transferred the sketch onto paper and use a roller to make the straight edges. Bikes have always been a struggle for me to draw. It's one of those things that most people can't visualize or draw from memory. And I wanna challenge you to grab a pen and some paper and draw a bicycle. Tag me on Instagram if you end up doing this because I'm really curious to see what bikes look like in your head. I wanted to paint the inner walls of this shop a sage green, but the outcome was just really unattractive, so I ended up changing it later. These steps are really easy as long as you get the shape right during your initial sketch. Alternate painting each side of the step between a light and dark color. I thought the hanging plant tied in nicely with the rest of the floral foliage details. You can see how easy it is to change the colors of the wall since we're painting with acrylics. It only took two coats to cover that ugly green color. This painting process was pretty therapeutic since I was able to paint large spaces using the same color. Since this piece was so architectural, I was able to paint loosely and the eyes are more drawn to the buildings rather than the smaller details. This poster was for my room, so I wanted to use colors that I wouldn't get tired of looking at every day. This might vary depending on your taste and aesthetic. I like light colors and white. That might answer your question of why I painted the already white paper with white paint. It's a perfectly normal thing to do. Just go ahead and paint the other side of the steps a darker color. I knew from the start that I wanted to make this railing my focal point. It's one of the only dark areas in the painting and I just love how the foliage wraps around the railing. It gives a very villagey vibe to the pretty urban building.
And if you're indecisive like me, you might change the color of the sign a couple times. I also forgot to focus the lens when painting the bakery. Rookie mistake, it won't happen again. I added some details off camera and here's how everything came out. Well, isn't this video just jam-packed full of really cool art? I hope you'll give a like and subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye!